Why does antiphospholipid syndrome give you a false positive syphilis test? This is extremely high yield for the USMLE. And since a lot of students don't know this concept, they get questions wrong all the time. Let's fix that. First, I want to ask you a question about this. What do VDRL and RPR, which are used to test for syphilis, what are they looking for? Well, they're not actually looking for the syphilis. They're looking for antibodies against a lipid called as cardiolipin. Next question. In antiphospholipid syndrome, what are the antibodies targeting? Well, they are targeting phospholipids, things like the cardiolipin, beta-2 glycoprotein, and lupus anticoagulant. So if you have antibodies against cardiolipin in APS, in antiphospholipid syndrome, and the VDRL test uses cardiolipin as the antigen, what happens? Well, antiphospholipid syndrome antibodies cross react with cardiolipin in the syphilis screening test. So VDRL or RPR is positive, but the specific treponemal test FTA ABS is negative. USML loves setting up a trap for this. They'll give you a young woman, maybe with lupus, history of miscarriages or DVT, prolonged PTT, positive VDRL, and no sexual risk factors. You're supposed to think antiphospholipid syndrome, not syphilis.